Hi and welcome to my first time doing this, presenting you the top upcoming games where you can literally sink hundreds of hours into. From AAA to indie, shooters, RPG, everything. We already had Redfall at the start of the month and that is not worth the full price, but Game Pass, definitely an option to actually sink some time in, straight up jumping over to Zelda. The Legend of Zelda Tears of Kingdom 12th of May release. You'll decide your own path through the sprawling landscapes of Hyrule and the mysterious islands floating in the vast skies above, which is the new zone in Tears of Kingdom. Harness the power of Link's new abilities to craft and construct fantastic weapons and vehicles. The recoil ability lets you rewind an object's movement to access different points on the map. With the Ultra Hand ability, you can build vehicles and structures. Also, Send allows you to travel through solid matter to give you even more interactions throughout the world. But most importantly, there's the Fuse ability, which lets you combine two items together, creating interesting weapons and armor combinations. Take a stick, put a rock on it, or choose arrows to put different objects on top to create ice arrows, homing arrows, and other shenanigans. If you have a Switch, that's a 100-hour game. Easy. Ready for horror? The Outlast Trials on the 18th of May. Set in the era of the Cold War, human guinea pigs are involuntarily recruited by the good folks of the Murkov Corporation to test advanced methods of brainwashing and mind control. In a world of distrust, fear and violence, your morals will be challenged, your endurance tested and your sanity crushed. All in the name of progress, science and profit, survive alongside friends or dare to face the experiments by yourself. The Outlast Trials can be played with teams of two, three or four players or alone. And in pure Outlast fashion, the core gameplay involves avoiding enemies, hiding from them, and trying to run away. Murkov will provide tools you can use to increase your stealth capabilities, create opportunities to flee, slow down enemies, and more. Your goal is to collect documents and items that will help prove Murkov's malpractice against its patients. I personally didn't even beat the first Outlast because I got too damn scared. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a weenie. Not enough horror? Amnesia the Bunker on the 23rd of May. It's a first-person horror game from the creators of Soma and Amnesia. You're left alone in a desolate bunker during World War I. With only one bullet in the drum, you must face the horrors of darkness. Your French soldier, Henry Clement, 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 armed with a revolver and a loud crank flashlight. Along the way, you can find scarce supplies and craft items. Thanks to the elements of randomness and unpredictable behavior, no two playthroughs are the same. You are hunted by an ever-present threat that reacts to your every move and every sound you make. To escape from this hell, you need to adjust your playstyle. Every decision affects the outcome of the game. Actions have consequences. I'm already stressed out after watching the trailer. I'm, I'm really not mentally built to play horror games. After us on the 23rd, quite something different graphic and gameplay-wise. Play as Gaia, the spirit of life, and navigate stunning platforming environments in an abstract world to salvage the souls of extinct animals. Revive these creatures after learning their final fate, the last whale harpooned, the final eagle cage, the last deer hunted down, and more. While you survive encounters with dangerous oil-covered devourers that roam the wasteland in search of remaining life. Key features. The last animals have died and mother has used all of her life force to save their souls now trapped in their vessels. Gaia's traversal abilities will allow you to glide, jump, and dash to explore new areas and evade deadly traps, while her special gifts will grant you the power to clear the oil that consumes the world face hunger devours, and break souls free. In comparison to everything seen so far, something vastly different, very eerie, and seems pretty fun. Miasma Chronicles on the 23rd as well. In the not-too-distant future, America has been torn apart by a savage force known as the Miasma. Meet Elvis, a young man brought to the mining town of Sedentary as a baby. Left by his mother in the care of a robotic older brother and given a mysterious glove, with which he can control the miasma. Join the brothers on a quest across the post-apocalyptic wasteland to find the answer they crave. Answers which may change the course of human history forever. Real-time exploration gameplay meets tactical and turn-based combat with RPG elements. This game is made by the creators of Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden, and they definitely have the experience to whip out another tactical RPG game. Warhammer 40k fans rejoice. You like Doom and Warhammer? Perfect game for you. Old gun. Experience the ultimate homage to retro shooters that blend stylish graphics in the Warhammer style with smooth modern FPS gameplay. Essentially, Warhammer 40k meets Doom. Plays a battle-hardened space marine on a dangerous mission across the galaxy while battling K space marines and the demons of chaos. In a glorious boomer shooter style, unleash your devastating space marine arsenal as you blast your way through explosions of pixels and blood. If you're a Warhammer 40k fan and you've been playing Doom, this is the perfect mix for you. 
Star Trek friends, listen up. Star Trek Resurgence is an interactive action-driven video game set in the legendary sci-fi universe and telling an original story in a choice-driven adventure. Coming also on May the 23rd. Players take the role of the two main characters, first officer Jarrah Rydeg and engineer Ensign Carter Dyes. The two uncover a dark secret about two civilizations on the verge of the war. Players will immerse themselves in the Star Trek universe and interact with the new and returning characters using a variety of dialogue and action gameplay options to determine the course of the story. So far, as YouTube comments have shown and everything, Star Trek fans seem to be more than excited because this captures the real soul and vibe of the Star Trek universe. My personal favorite I've been excited for, Lord of the Rings Gollum on the 25th. The story takes place parallel to the events described in the Fellowship of the Rings. The Lord of the Rings Gollum is an action adventure game and an epic interactive experience. He has survived dangers most wouldn't dare talk about, driven by the singular desire to once again hold in his hands what was stolen from him. Although his desperate quest is a central part of the story crafted by Tolkien, it has never been told in detail. The story of Gollum as he flights from Mordor, where he escaped the mouth of Sauron and the demon spider Shelob. To the dungeons of the elven king Thranduil, Legolas' father, Gollum has had many adventures and encounters in the extraordinary journey. Gollum is not a fighter. He's known for his action and stealth. So find ways to take down your opponents, Hitman style, when they don't see it, strangle them, stumble them from towers. Find ways to get past them without being noticed. I wasn't excited at first, but the more I see of the game, the more I look at the trailers and the gameplay, I think it's going to be quite some fun to experience what Gollum lived through. For the fans of First Spoken, 26th, Intanta We Trust, the DLC after the story of what happened in First Spoken. Who are the Tanta? They're the matriarchal sorceresses in First Spoken who ruled the mysterious land of Athia into which Freys transported during the game's opening. The DLC will take place at the end of the story as Frey searches for a way to permanently rid Athia of the break its strange corruption. If you like the first part, I do believe the DLC is almost a must play. I did personally enjoy Forspoken a lot. The combat was really good and I didn't mind Frey being kind of edgy because being a teenager pulled into a fantasy world and demanded to save the world, I guess I would be quite edgy too. Last but not least, the System Shock Remake on the 30th. Personally never played the original, but very excited for what System Shock Remake has to offer. It's the fully fledged remake of the groundbreaking original from 1994, combining cool gameplay with all new HD visuals, updated controls, and overhauled interface and all new sounds and music. It even has the original voice actor of Shodan, which is going to be fantastic for the people that are fans of the franchise already. And if he was that good in the first time, I guess even as people that never played the first one, it's going to be a good thing. The features are fight to death in the depth of space, face up against the forces of a rogue AI gone mad, improve your skills and adapt to take on your foes, Discover non-linear story unfolding at your own pace. Jack into cyberspace to hack the system open their routes. Also, there's a major content description warning. System Shock contains scenes of violence, gore towards humanoid enemies, but also they have spider-like enemies that users with arachnophobia may find disturbing. I hope you enjoyed this journey through the games of May. There's obviously quite more. Also, indie title, tiny ones, bold guns, other shenanigans. It was my first try at doing this. I'll do one for June. Upcoming BR games, RPGs, more like bogged down into the respective genres. If you have any feedback, feel free to drop it. Really, don't hold back. If you didn't like it, then tell me what you didn't like. Also, if you ever wanted to enjoy an epic darkest dungeon journey and you're getting too frustrated to play it yourself, here's my amazing journey through the game.